Sales teams are more data-driven than any other team in a company. That is why their OKRs very often look like this. Achieve 3x growth in sales, increase revenue from X to Y, increase the number of customers by a certain percent. Each salesperson has a target of a specific number. Now, while these are important and we will be monitoring many of these metrics, these are key performance indicators, also known as business metrics or performance targets. They do tell us what our ambition is, what our targets are, but what it doesn't tell us is what needs to improve. What needs to change for us to be able to move towards those targets? It doesn't tell us how are we going to approach it? What is our strategy? What is our direction? What is our hypothesis in terms of what will work this quarter? So let's say our sales objective is to increase sales. How are we going to do it, right? We need to consider what needs to change, what needs to improve. So the actual objective for the quarter could be, could be to improve the way we nurture relationships with potential clients at an early stage. Let's imagine we had a team discussion. And during that discussion, we realized that we are losing our potential clients early on due to inconsistent communication. And we should improve our outreach tactics, the quality of emails and meetings precisely. However, there might be something else that we're missing, something that we don't know, and we should ask our customers for feedback. So there are a few areas here that we will pursue and try to improve this quarter. How can we write key results to an objective like this, to an objective focused on nurturing early stage relationships? We can ask ourselves a few questions. The first one is, how will we know we are improving our communication? What will customers do if we improve in this area? Can we measure this change in behavior? What can we achieve within 90 days? So if our sales objective is focused on nurturing relationships and we will be focusing on specific on a specific set of outcomes for the quarter that still doesn't mean that we completely forget that we ever had key performance indicators that we are monitoring to understand the health of our business what are those what are those key performance indicators that could be the number of new deals monthly recurring revenue customer lifetime value sales cycle churn rate many other metrics that we don't proactively drive, but we are trying to keep them in mind by, well, looking at the charts, trying to see if we're on target, off target. And if we're off target, we may consider another objective for another quarter. But this quarter, we understood that we are going to be focusing on nurturing relationships. So when writing key results, we need to be very specific that it's not a mix of just regular key performance indicators. Key results are very focused on this specific objective. So how will we know that this objective is being achieved? The first key result could be to increase the number of second meetings from 5 to 25 per week. And this makes sense because we're focusing on nurturing relationships. And if people are willing to book a follow-up meeting with us, it means that we're doing something right in those first meetings, right? The second KR could be to improve the email response rate from 5 to 10, which means that we are not only trying to get people to book meetings with us, but maybe if they're willing to engage in a different type of communication, we also can engage them and continue our conversations there. And the last key result could be receive at least 100 replies to the first impression quality survey. because. Just because we know specifically that we need to improve how we are doing our meetings, we need to improve our email messaging, doesn't mean that we know everything. There are pretty, there are a lot of unknown unknowns, right? So we need to pursue that as well. And now we could have said, send out a survey to a thousand people. And that wouldn't have been a good outcome because just sending out a survey doesn't mean that you get enough information to work with. So getting responses to that survey is an outcome while sending out a survey is just an action. So with this in mind, we're looking at our OKRs and we understand that we, what we need to prioritize and where do we need to start to make progress this quarter. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to browse more examples, please visit our learning center.